water, soil and ecology restoration in a very integrated fashion. So I will focus this, this uh, uh, talk more on water and specific to agricultural land, landscape or land use. Okay. The olden days water management system of water flowing from farms to small uh, uh, ponds, then the village pond, then from the village pond it will overflow into uh, little larger lakes and then from that it will overflow into tanks. So like this, there was a, a cascading, uh, this is called cascading network of water, water systems. Water knows to just flow, okay, from top low, uh, higher elevation to lower elevation. That is all water knows, nothing else, from a basic movement perspective. Okay, yeah. Where does water come from? Ultimately, it's coming from rainwater and groundwater. So you get rain, say, depending on the geology, where you are in, you get rain once a week or once a month or only during monsoon times, three, four months, you don't get water at all. So, so uh, but nature has gifted us with, some, uh, with, with the land. Water falls down and then hits the soil then some portion of it gets absorbed by the soil and rest if there is heavy rain only then you will see water running off otherwise you will only see moist soil right you won't see any runoff water so that that water the excess water that runs off is called runoff water so roughly what percentage do you expect the runoff to be for a reasonably good rain how much what do you think is the capacity of soil to observe and uh, not observe vary between uh, 20 and 50 depending on the terrain if the terrain is a hilly terrain then there will be more runoff if the uh, soil if it is a forest land for example you know so forest land has a lot of green cover the soil is very good very good in the sense it can absorb a lot of moisture there is mulch so you will have very less runoff a lot of water will be uh, uh, absorbed by the soil there 